Good morning, dear students. Today we'll continue with chapter three, atoms and molecules. In the last class, we discussed about how to calculate molecular mass of some of the substance. Today we'll discuss the calculation of formula unit mass of zinc oxide, sodium oxide, and potassium carbonate. Here we are using the term formula unit mass. This we use for ionic compounds in which one of the ion is positive ion, the other is negative ion. So in case of ionic compound, we use the term formula unit mass. We do not use the term molecular mass. Okay. So, and the method of calculation is the same formula unit mass or molecular mass, what you do, you add up the atomic masses of the atoms. Okay, so how to find the formula unit mass? You will add up the atomic masses of atoms present in one formula unit of the compound. Okay, so first, Formula unit mass of zinc oxide. So students, what you will do? What are the elements present here? Zinc and oxygen. How many zinc atoms? One. So one into atomic mass of zinc plus second element is oxygen how many atoms one so one into atomic mass of oxygen now one into what is atomic mass of zinc atomic mass of zinc is 65 Students, the list which I have given you of symbol, atomic number and atomic mass, if I have not given the atomic mass of zinc, you can add this in that list. What is atomic mass of zinc? 65. Okay. So, 1 into 65 plus 1 into what is atomic mass of oxygen? Oxygen students, atomic number is 8. So, double of 8, 16. So, what is atomic mass of oxygen? 16. So, 65 plus 16. How much? 81. And what you will write? U. U means unified mass. So, students, the calculation of molecular mass, formula unit mass, the way is same. You add up the atomic masses of the atoms present for molecular mass in one molecule of the substance. You add up the atomic masses of atoms of different element present in one molecule of the substance. And in formula unit mass, how you find out? You add up the atomic masses of atoms of different element present in one formula unit of the compound. And this term formula unit mass we use for ionic compounds. Ionic compounds means one of the element will, one of the atom here will be positive ion, the other will be negative ion. So for ionic compound, we use the term formula unit mass. Okay. Now, the second one is sodium oxide. 